Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Jason Thibodeau again with Millennia Media Label. I want to show y'all a video about how I edit my 4K footage or my high resolution footage. Um, so for the people that have Reds and 4K codecs and stuff like that and your computer can't keep up with it, this is a perfect solution. I just ran across it maybe like two months ago and I want to share it with you all. So I'm going to do it pretty quick. Um, I don't want to take too much time. This video is pretty simple. So you want to open up Premiere Pro. Let it load, let all your plugins load and etc. stuff like that. Uh, let's see what we got here. You want to hit new project. You want to browse wherever your project is. Uh, so I already have a temp folder because I'm going to delete that temp folder. Once I'm done with the video, I'm just going to name this delete. You want to go over here to ingest settings. Go ahead, check mark ingest. Change this to create proxies. There's, uh, there's three other settings. But uh, we're not going to talk about that in this video. If you have any questions about that, just let me know. Create proxies. Uh, disregard the GoPro send form because I have the, the GoPro Kodak downloaded. So what you'll see is the H.264. Click the lowest resolution one and just go ahead and click OK. Say you have 4K footage. You want to start a new project, I mean a new sequence. I already have a 4K um, sequence like setting a preset already set, so I can just click that one, uh, hit main. It, I mean, just type main, whatever you want to name it. Go to media media browser, and you'll drag your footage. Actually, if I can find it, I should be in here. Then I have a temp folder. Oh wow. Okay, well I deleted that. So let's just go to clips. Uh, let's see where I have some 4K footage. This is some 4K footage. It's four seconds long. Right click that. Go ahead, click import. It's gonna automatically open open media encoder. While it's doing that, I'm gonna show you how it looks so far. Let's see. It should start automatically, and it's already done. So what you'll have right here is you'll have the 4K footage. It's only four. It's only like five frames, four seconds, something like that. But you'll have the footage right here. You'll have the 4K footage, and um, since that is done, your footage may take longer to render, but it depends on the size of the file and the Kodak and uh, what you're rendering. After you do that, all you have to do is go over here to the plus sign, drag this toggle proxy switch down here, hit OK. You can also do the same for this one, drag that down here, I already have mine set. So once you drag this, um in the actual project i mean in the in the sequence you'll have the 4k footage which is normal and you'll have the proxy after you just toggle proxy switch right here and that will automatically create your lower resolution uh proxy file so you can edit easily and add effects and when you render it out it will still be the 4k resolution uh the native 4k resolution you imported it as so you don't have to do any special rendering settings after you create the proxies. You also, uh, if you want to check, make sure the proxies are attached to the video and they're created. You can go over here, click metadata, metadata display. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, you can search proxies or proxy. Go ahead, check mark that. Click OK, and it says proxy attached. So you know the proxy is attached when, especially you uh, have this have this box right here telling you it is uh, rendered out and attached to it. And like I said, all you have to do is click this button, and it'll automatically change to the proxy. Click it; it'll be the 4K file. It's very convenient. It's easy to move your files and work with uh, in other places. But this is just the way I found to best suit my uh, my um, uh, what do people call it? their uh, their workflow so if you have any questions about that let me know and I'll keep doing tutorials about little tips like that subscribe to the channel if you find it useful thank you